Hello everyone. Alright, today I'm building a church and graveyard, well, cemetery is probably a better term, in Sanctuary. So I scrapped the house next to the player's home over here in the corner and also scrapped the garage entirely. That's where the graveyard is going to be, but the, the cemetery. And eventually I'm going to scrap the foundation and stairs too, but right now I need it so I can line up the foundation. Uh, I haven't scrapped the bushes yet, and uh, except for that bush. But I'm going to leave those because I feel like it, it, just, it just makes it look better and it, you, you'll see, you'll see. Alright, so I lined up this floor piece with the stairs and now I'm going to snap out towards the back. And uh, oh, I get this question a lot. Uh, the mod that I use to scrap the house and foundation is called Settlement Tweaks. I'll have a link to it in the description. But there are a lot of scrap mods out there available on all platforms that will essentially do the same thing. Alright, so you see how the floor is clipping into the ground? Yeah, we don't want that. So to make this work, I just remove the floor in front of it so it's by itself. And then when I select it again, it will pop up above the ground and I didn't lose my place. So now I can snap floors back out towards the front and they will still be lined up with the foundation. Alright, so I'm going to speed up the video a little bit and the rest of the build is going to be quick and easy. Just like your mom. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, sh I'm sure she's a nice lady. So the foundation is three floor pieces wide and five deep, which I'm going to change these to actual foundations in a little bit. I'm just using these as placeholders. And for the walls and really the rest of the church, I'm using a mod called Snappy House Kit. It's a great mod. It has a ton of different build sets or what they call kits, such as the church kit where it gives me walls, roofs, floors, railings, all kinds of stuff pertaining to that particular kit. Uh, and there is another mod that has these same pieces and really a little bit more called Adam's Greatness, which is part of the, the Master Plan mod. I use both mods in this build, but I chose to use Snappy House Kit for the church because the inside panel at the bottom is brown, whereas with Adam's Greatness it's green. And uh, you know what, I like the brown a little better, but both are great mods as you will see. So yeah, all I did was snap the walls to the floor so it followed the same shape and I have to move one floor piece to the back so I can snap in the back wall. Now I had to scrap some of the bushes back here so the walls would snap in, but I'm trying not to scrap too many of them. And the reason why is because of how nice the structure looks. I'm trying to make it fit in with the rest of my sanctuary build. I was afraid that this church was going to stand out like a sore thumb. And I did a few things to make sure that didn't happen. One being that I made the layout very simple. I could have done a lot more with this church, like make a couple of rooms, maybe even a tower that you could climb up. But I kept it as small as I could, just like a wide open room, which I think turns out really well. And another thing that you'll see in a little bit is that I built a cemetery next to it, which has a very scrappy looking gate that I think helps bring it down a tad. But even still, if you think it does stand out, just wait until I'm finished with the full sanctuary build. I still have a lot to do. I'm about halfway done, so once I get more stuff around the church, it's not going to look so out of place. Oh, I've had a few people ask me this before when I did it in other videos. I'm about to do it again where I move the item up and down and away from me without actually moving my character, like right here. So the way I do this is bring up the item that you want, then hold A if you're on Xbox, X if you're on PS4, or E if you're on PC, and then move your control stick around. So for me, since I'm on Xbox, it's the left stick. It's the one that moves your character around. And that will move the item towards or away from you. Now to move an item higher or lower, do that same thing where you hold the action button down. So again, for me, it's A since I'm on Xbox and also hold down the left bumper. I don't know what that is on PC, but if you hold those two buttons down and move the control stick, it will move the item up or down. All right, so I got a little behind on the video. This front part is just a prefab tower. You got the doorway at the bottom, the middle part, and then the top, all of which snap together and are just for looks. Unfortunately, we can't climb up there. I mean, I guess we could, but it would it would be on the outside, which wouldn't wouldn't really make any sense. And uh, and I don't even know why I'm still talking about this. Anyways, I went ahead and scrapped the foundation and stairs and now I'm replacing the floor pieces with foundation blocks that we get from Workshop Rearranged. I think you also get these with Unlock Settlement Objects. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, I chose these rusty looking blocks because I think it blends in nicely with the church. Yeah, don't, don't you think? I mean, either way, it's, it's going to happen because, you know, I'm, I'm already building it. But let's keep it going. 
All right, so the foundation is pretty much done. Now I'm using the Adam's Greatness mod where I get these stairs from. They work really well. The only thing is that the prefab doorway sticks out pretty far, so there's a significant gap between the foundation and stairs, as you can see. So I make the stairs snap around to cover up the gaps. And I know that the bushes are sticking through the stairs, but I don't want to scrap them as I mentioned earlier. Just pretend like you don't see them. And to make the stairs not look so weird, I snap in some foundation blocks. I, I went back and forth on this a little bit. I couldn't tell which way I liked better, but I think I just decided to keep the foundation blocks for now. Alright, so inside I'm using the mod G2M Workshop. You don't have to use this mod, you can use any set of stairs that you want. I just like the way these look. And I'm making a pulpit. This is going to cover up the ground underneath so we don't see that mess. And I realized that the floors wouldn't snap to the top of the stairs if the walls were there. So this is just another example of how the build order can come into play. So yeah, I had to remove all of the walls back there and then snap in the floors and then snap the walls back in. It's a real pain in my ass. But now I'm going to cover up this middle part with another mod from the Master Plan series called SLR. Uh, stairs, Ladders, and Railings, which gives me these really cool looking railings that match the trim on the bottom part of the walls. Again, you don't have to use these pieces, you can use half walls or different kind of railings, it's really your choice. Now you saw how I did that, the railings wouldn't snap into the bottom part, I mean it would, but it was red, so I placed it down first and then got it to snap back in where it was red, and then just use place anywhere. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do with the pulpit is add in these railings that I get from the Snappy House Kit mod. And as far as decorations go, it's going to be very minimal in here. Probably just a few pews and a podium and maybe some benches, but that's it. If I did any more, it would just be way too much and completely throw off the vibe. Alright, so the last thing I want to build in here is a wall with a huge opening, and I'm only doing this because I wanted to give it a little bit more depth, because right now, when you walk in, you walk straight into the main area. So I want to have a little entry room that separates the doorway from the main part of the church. It's minor, but I think it adds a lot. There's going to be a gap at the very top of this wall because the one piece that covers it is meant to be on the end, and it just looks weird. So I decided to leave the gap up there, which really isn't noticeable. The last thing that I wanted to go over is the cemetery. Now you saw me build a fence like this in my last video, the Adam Cat Settlement. With this one, I put in these warehouse posts to make it look a little more put together and like an actual gate. I, I don't love it, but it's close to what I was picturing, we just don't have the mods for the kind of gate that I wanted. And these posts are pretty forgiving. They clipped right through the fence and let me place them down, and then I used cross beams on both sides to connect them. Now, it did take some time to line up the posts just right to where the cross beams were flush with each other, but I think it came out pretty cool. This sign was pretty simple. I used a long railing that I got from Vanilla Extensions, which you can use any railing, it doesn't matter. Uh, and surprisingly, it let me place it on the cross beams without using place anywhere. And then I used larger labels that we get from Workshop Rearranged for the actual letters. This path is from the mod Decorations and Furniture Expansion Pack, which last I checked is still available. I'll have links to all the mods that I used in the description. Now the graves are really cool. I got these from Adam's Greatness and they are great. Yeah, the graves from Adam's Greatness are great. They sink into the ground and then snap to each other along with the tombstones. They snap at the top, which really helps out a lot. I also got the mausoleum from Adam's Greatness. I was going to build one of these on my own with concrete, but this looked so cool that I couldn't pass it up. And all I did on the inside was use place anywhere to get the floors up on the wall, and then snap some wood railings to cover the bottom part. And back here is another grave and an empty coffin for Preston, which I use as a constant reminder of what's going to happen to him if he doesn't shut the hell up. But that is it for the build, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now here's the tour.
Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.